Barbara Frank. I'm the principal of Lowell Elementary and welcome to our school. Hi everyone, I'm here with Barbara Frank. She's the principal of Lowell Elementary School and we're going to talk about improvements made to this historic building, additions too that have improved the quality of education here. Thanks so much for taking the time to tell us about it. Thanks for so, having me. A lot has happened at Lowell School in the last year. Yes, yes, it's really grown into an amazing learning community with lots of great space and lots of opportunity. And the original building is an integral part of the addition that we're in now. Mm -hmm. um, this looks like the lunchroom. You want to tell people a little about that? Well, the cool thing about this lunchroom is that that ramp that's behind us used to be the only way that students could get into the gym, and it was outside of the building. Right. And so now it's all included, and this building is completely ADA, ADA accessible. So you can get anywhere you need to. It might take you a little while because it's a pretty big building, but yeah. you can get anywhere you need to no matter what your mobility is. We're built for a capacity between 450 and 500 students. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm looking outside too. I see a, a kind of cool amphitheater. Absolutely. We use it for lunch when the weather is great. Um, there was a fifth grade class out there yesterday practicing a dance they're going to do for their end of the year celebration. We see presentations. There was spark artists out there yesterday with our second and third graders. Sure. So we use that quite a bit and then we're really excited we have a band coming for our fifth grade celebration at the end of the year and they're gonna play in our amphitheater and there's also these large garage doors we use those after school um, for those kinds of events and tonight we have kindergarten registration and we'll have the doors wide open so we have all of these shared learning spaces in every we call them pods which is really a great way to organize so we are organized into three different pods and those pods work together for celebrations we do competitions and inside those pods are big shared learning spaces where we can do community projects we can do small group activities so there's so much flexible space here that it allows us to just be super creative with the different things that we want to provide for kids. So right now we're entering what we call our green pod. This is our kindergarten and first grade pod. This is one of our shared learning spaces right here. Green. One of our favorite things that we do in this space is we do a fancy breakfast with students. We have something called hashtag awesomeness. So when our, we recognize students for awesome things and then we draw awards and so we fill this whole area with um, fancy supplies and we set up tablecloths and we have fancy breakfast. But we use this space for lots of great things. It's a break space for kids. You can see we do small group instruction out right. here. We do grade um, pod assemblies out here. So there's lots of this space just is constantly in use for lots of different things. So we have lots of flexible seating, which is really nice. All of our pods also have a small meeting room uh, that we can use. And the other great thing about the pod is we see it building community. And so if you are a second grader, you get to know your third grade teachers because you're in the pod with them. And if you're a third grader, you get to go back and visit and make connections with those old teachers. And so it really builds a sense of community and kids are excited. And then they're excited to get to the next pod. So our fourth and fifth grade pod is the red pod. And, and so red pod gets a few more things because they're the older kids. And so there's some excitement that generates around the different communities in the pods as well. This is one of our kindergarten classrooms. The really cool thing about this is that in every one of our pods, we were, uh, they built a double-sized classroom. And so as our population continues to grow, we'll be able to make two classrooms out of this. So right now we use it as one great space, but it, it was built for future growth. Another cool thing all of our classrooms have are smart boards, and so you'll see those as we travel around the building. We're also one of the few schools in Missoula that is almost one-to-one -one in technology. So from second grade on up, we have a Chromebook for every student. And then below that, we have an iPad or a Chromebook for every student in the building. Oh, here's another cool thing about this building. So this is that kindergarten and first grade pod. So between every set of classrooms is a bathroom. And so there are a bunch of individual bathrooms on this level. And so little kindergartners are often afraid of the big bathroom. And it's just I one was. single stall right next door to your teacher. And it's been such a savior for right. our kindergarten and first graders. So this is our second and third grade pod the glass you can see everything that's going on it's right. just really nice 
from a safety perspective, it's amazing. Yeah. And from an instructional perspective, it's exactly what research is telling us we should be doing with schools. Mm. All of our lighting is adjustable, which is great. Um, we try to be very trauma-informed here. And so um, one of the strategies is that low lighting is very calming. And so you'll find that all around the building, lots of teachers keep their lights off. We use those blue covers, we keep the dimmers on, just to make it calm and comfortable for our students. And everything oh, yeah. we bought is flexible, so you can see like these oh, are all yeah. on wheels, so that we can create um, spaces. We can move them around for dividers. It's really nice to have that flexible furniture. This is our, t our teacher workroom, and where they can have for storage, and it also provides a place for them to meet in their professional learning community. So every oh, pod yeah. has one of those as well. So this oh. is a, one of my favorite spaces. This, this is, is our great. music room here, which is absolutely oh. gorgeous. It's big and bright and beautiful. And then this just bright open space over our cafeteria. Yeah, this is you can really see the sweet. playground from here. That's oh. the old Lowell Bell. So we're about to go into my favorite spot in the school, and this is our library. Whoa. And isn't this gorgeous? It's totally great. I, I didn't think it would have such depth as it does. Doesn't it? And I, the lighting is amazing, and you can come over here and see the views. You can see the M right out of our window. It just makes you want to sit down and read. It is just a fabulous learning space. Yeah. So we are the only school in Missoula that has our own health clinic. Oh. So we work with Partnership Health. They serve other clients as well, but their priority is Lowell students, families, and, and staff. Excellent. And so we have medical resources and professionals right next door, so it's pretty amazing. Yeah. We'll go through this way, because I, I love this way. This is where you'll see, like, this is the old and the new. So we're in the old section in the building, so this is the original stairwell of the building. Oh, okay. So we'll take up to the fourth and fifth grade pod. So this is fifth grade right here. We also house extended resource programs here. So that's a special education program where we bring students from other schools and we have two of those classrooms here. There's our teacher workroom. Look at this great red. Wow, wow look at this. So this is something that Lowell didn't have before and that is we have a band and an orchestra room because mm -hmm. now we have space for these programs. Yeah. Um, and when we come back downstairs, I'll show you our art room. And so these were classes that were on carts before. They were, people were moving around. And now we're able to provide space for band, orchestra, music, and art. This is our fourth grade. And then this is their shared space. A little right. different in this building because it's the original building. Right. So it's not, they're not all around one shared space. But when you get into fourth and fifth grade, it's nice to have their own kind of divided areas so that they can have more access to shared space for their grade level. I love, this is one of my favorite classrooms. You can peek in there. We have our red pod, our green pod, and our blue pod. And so we have pod competitions. And it's just easy, even for safety personnel, to say that that's the red pod. So this is the Lowell School Garden. The school community is super proud of this garden. We have programs that run all summer long. We do cooking classes in the summer. But during the school year, our classrooms are out here regularly, sometimes just to read and enjoy the fresh air. Sure. But you can see they're already starting to plant into the beds. And the kids are out here actually doing the planting and doing the weeding and doing the work of the garden. Wow, it makes it seem so much bigger when we're out here. It does. You know? And I guess. They must have done a lot to rejuvenate the brick on the old building. Yeah, and you can see like where it was connected to the old annex there. That's yeah. about the only sign you can see that there was um, construction. They did such a great job preserving it and making it look like that's the way it always has been. So you can see that we have tons of bikes here because we provide safe routes to this school. Yeah. We're a neighborhood school and we're really proud of that. And our kids love when the weather gets good to get on their bikes and so do our teachers. Parents love the building and it's colorful and bright. And, and they're especially with this school it has a lot of parents who attended here and so it's really fun to watch them come back and go oh this is where my fifth grade classroom was it doesn't look like that anymore and so there's a lot of history that parents bring to the building and share with us about what these spaces used to look like and how excited they are to see the changes